See how that car is just stopped there on the side of the road? There's the entrance. They're just stopped there on the side of the road. Let's go see who it is, shall we? Come on. And it is like 40 something degrees right now. I don't know if it was a grocery cart. I can't imagine anybody would walk their kid out here. See? They, you see how they stopped right where I was standing almost exactly. See? They're not broken down. Guarantee it. Let's see how long they sit there. Oh, Virginia plate. No way. No way. Even when it's freezing cold and it's supposed to get down to 30 tonight. So it's already, like I said, low to mid 40s right now. It's about 7 o'clock. It is unbearable. So that's how that's how desperate this program is, see? Right before the entrance, why would you why would you do that? What's the point? A little lowered, looks like a little Civic SI four door, the 06 body style, 06, 07. So when it's cold, they do that. The lady pushing the, it looked like, it looked like a like a stroller, but reverse facing, you know? So maybe this is going to work I don't know, but they, you know, just like all of them, they just seem to pop out of nowhere. And she looked cute, but like, you know, like where's she coming from in this weather like that? She's bundled up and all, but damn. The nearest store is like a mile and a half, two miles away. And there's a gas station what, half a mile down the road, so it's not like they ran out of gas. See? They just this. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how long they stand there. Because you know this shit always happens when you come out. Like at lunch today. See how oh, now someone's checking in. Like when I came out to walk the dog for lunch, it was one sheriff, one ambulance, and it wasn't a fire truck, but it was like the fire chief in his, uh, it's a red dually, like a one ton pickup. See? They're running just fine. See that? See? No, absolutely nothing wrong. You see someone's. All of see how they matched up. So that person shows up, they leave. See? And there's a one headlighter. See? Even in 40 degree weather. Got one walker and two two driving stockers. See? Another one headlighter. And this is a military town. This is one of the largest military uh, bases population-wise in the country. And they have, so, fire department, EMS, local sheriff. Haven't had local police in on it yet that I'm aware of. There's another one lighter. Um, active duty military. And then civilians. And I've... My roommate is active duty military, and uh, 
a friend of mine that came to visit yesterday. Watch this, watch this, look at the timing. Look at the timing, look at the timing. Look at the timing, look at the timing. And they got their tailgate down so you can't get their uh, license plate. But that's a fucking 94 through 2001 Dodge Ram long bed, white one. Um, here comes, here comes the walker again. I'll show you. Anyway, so they got all those people going after people that are still wearing the uniform and people that used to wear the uniform. That's how, that's how, I wouldn't even call it bold. I think it's just straight up disrespectful in my, in my mind. Because, you know, these people are, they're just doing their job. You know, they're, they're, they're not, they're not in combat right now. They're not doing anything, you know. See, she was walking the other way when I came up. See? They, when I, so when I came up this way, she went that way. And when I come in, she manages to cross my path again and go that way. See that? So, this will be going up. So you have one car stopping there for no reason, turning on its blinkers for no reason, just sitting there. And then when they take off, and then you got that walker, and then as soon as I get to the corner, you saw that truck got to the corner on point. On point, I could see it coming with its lights. So, like I said, this isn't, it's not bold of them to do it, it's stupid. Because it's stupid and it's disrespectful. Um, when we, when I went to get some to eat with a friend of mine that's still in, over 10 years of service, my roommate's over 20 years of service, and these people, they, they did it to him. They did the, um, where they wear what you wear, you know, same shirt, same pants. And, uh, you know, he was a little, he's as aware as I am. But, you know, I'd ask him, i say, you hear what, what they just said? And he goes, yeah. And I would explain to him how that coincided with what was going on. And he would laugh because, you know, it's, it's, it's funny when it's not happening to you and you point it out. But... And that's, I haven't seen him in years. Literally, I have not seen that person in eight years. Direct overhead. Now, we do live near an airfield, but still, that's right over my head, isn't it? Uh, I forgot what I was saying. But they they said something, you know, they, they, they did it to him. They're gang stalking him, and that's I haven't seen that person in eight years. And they show up dressing like just like him, same shirt, same pants, you know, as, as close as they can get. And they've been doing that that I've noticed to me since summer of '19. And I even showed one of my family members that they were doing that. So that's that is how infiltrated. This is what from the east coast, from the west coast to the east coast, and halfway up the east coast now. And if I'm able to, I'm going to keep uh, keep going um, after this stop. If things don't pan out here, and we're not forced to stay in the area, I'll keep going north. So anyway, there you go. You got a walker going away from me when I go out. The same walker going the opposite direction when I come in, perfectly timed. You have someone just stop on the side of the road for no reason and turn their blinkers on and just sit there on their phone. And then when I start walking back towards them, they start their car up like nothing, nothing was ever wrong. They just did it to do it because they're signaling. And then you saw how the timing was with that white truck. And that's not, that's not the only vehicle to do that and that's not the only time that's happened. I've only been here 10 days and already the people that live in this complex do it and the people in the housing complex next door do it and the people out in public do it cannot go anywhere in this country without being harassed by these they're they're passive aggressive they're not like you know burning buildings and shit but they'll they literally stand in your way they'll stomp if they live above you they'll stomp on their floor you know they'll yet they'll just whatever they can do to 
get in your way, slow your progress, be where you're at, no matter what you're doing. Go into the bathroom, you know, if you're at a public restroom, all that types of dumb stuff. And like I said, they're doing it to people that have 10 and 20 years in uniform that are still serving, and they'll do it to them. You know, so they'll they'll do and active duty will do it to other active duty as well. That's how infiltrated they are. But they're not tough. They're hiding behind the ones that are in uniform. They're hiding behind their uniform. When they get out, they're gonna have a real rude awakening. You know, because a lot of people won't won't say anything to them simply because they're military. But with someone like me that's already served and done their time, I'm not really intimidated by them too much. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna try and take on a group of them. But you can tell if they're on that side, they're they're extremists, but they're also pansies. They're crybabies. You know, that's why there's a group of them stalking people for no reason, just for some extra change. And for, maybe they're, I'm sure most of them are aware of the social change that they're trying to press, but good luck. So, anyway.